Maganda ang tanghali mga kalanshi. Ano nga ba ang role ng CSC pagdating po sa performance management? Tama. At ano ang kinalaman nito sa pag-recognize o pagdisiplina sa mga kawani ng pamahalaan? Paano nga ba ang nagiging Paano nga ba nagiging lingkod bayani ang isang kawani? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin today sa ating All About the CSC series featuring performance management. Tatalakayin po natin yan with our very special guest. Mamaya po ay makakasama natin si Director Rudy, Rudy Encahonado of the Human Resource Policies and Standards Office. Kaya tutok lang mga kalanchi and my name is Mar. And I'm Liza. And you are watching Lunch, Lunch Chat, Chat with, with CSC. CSC. And, send, and to send your comments, we will be back after a short break. Marami na rin tayong napagsamahan. At kapag maraming kailangang pag-usapan, kailangan natin itong upuan. So join us for a chat over lunch on Facebook Live. Samahan kami sa Non-Chat with CSC. Thursdays at 12 p.m. Only at the CSC Facebook page. Welcome back mo mga kalanchi at syempre pag-uusapan natin for this episode ang tungkol naman sa performance, performance management. Huwag niyo pong kalilimutan na i-share po at i-like ang page na ito para mas madami ang makapanood sa ating episode for today. So syempre, hindi na po natin patatagalin pa. Last time o last episode yes. natin, tumutok ang ating mga kalanchi sa PICC yes. para po sa live coverage ng ating 2019 Public Sector HR Symposium. At Kaya... Tayo ah, nagpapasalamat. Pakaraming nag-attend doon. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much po. It was very, very successful, no? And we hope all our HR practitioners will keep on supporting our programs para na rin sa patuloy na competency building nating lahat sa uh, government. Yes, tamang-tama naman dahil ang topic po natin last time ay tungkol sa learning and development as part of the CSE's role in government workers' career. Tama yun, Mark. We have been doing all our CSC series no? since nagsimula ang Season 3. We have covered the topics recruitment and rewards and recognition. At ganun din, nandito na tayo sa ating fourth uh, and last episode for this series. At katulad ng nasabi natin kanina, we will be discussing performance management. Alright, so ano, ano nga po ba ang performance management at ano ang kinalaman nito sa pagiging lingkod bayani ng ating mga kawani? Yan ang sasagutin ng ating special guest for today. Walang episode, iba, kundi, kundi si Director Rodolfo B. El Cajonado. Maaari yes. po kayong bumati, sir, sa ating mga live viewers. Magandang tanghali sa ating mga viewers. Uh, at of course, sa uh, pamilya ko sa HRPSO, siguro nakikinig sila ngayon. Yeah. <laughs> Magandang so, tanghali. Yes. O oh, sabi nga, maganda pa kayo sa tanghali. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so simulan na natin, Director Rudy, ang ating unang katanungan. Ano nga ba o what is performance management? Well, ang um, performance management is technically defined as a continuous process of communication between managers and uh, employees mm -hmm. uh, wherein they mutually agree to meet or to accomplish the strategic goals of the organization. Mm -hmm. But of course, according to the uh, British author mm -hmm. and uh, of course, um, HR practitioner, yes. Michael Armstrong, mm -hmm. he said that It, uh, performance management is a systematic process mm -hmm. uh, for managing and developing the performance of individuals and teams mm -hmm. for the agreed uh, um, nito, stand, um, framework of plan goals, standards, and competence requirements for the improvement of organizational goals. Mm -hmm. Ang na-pick up ko doon, merong conversation, yes, there merong is conversation. agreement yes. to reach the goals no, yes. of the organization or the unit through the individual and the team. 
Wow, kapag nangyari yun, di ba? Talagang makukuha ng isang organisasyon ng kanyang minimite. So, at napakritikal talaga ng HR system na yun mm-hmm. kasi we are really managing performance yes. para ma-achieve yung goals ng isang organization. That's right. Uh, but Director Rudy, what is the Strategic Performance Management System or SPMS mm-hmm. at paano ba ito nagagamit for performance management? Okay. Actually, SPMS is um, actually an e- HR initiative mm-hmm. of the Civil Service Commission as the central personal agency of the government, wherein all government agencies are required to implement. Mm-hmm. In fact, ito ay isa sa mga, isa sa core HR systems, yes. no? the performance management. Isa sa mga core HR systems together with recruitment, selection, and placement, mm-hmm. learning and development, and rewards and recognition mm-hmm. within agencies are required to implement under the CSE program, mm-hmm. no? prime or program to institutionalize a meritocracy in human resource management or, co- or prime HRM. Mm-hmm. And of course, um, the SPMS links um, mm-hmm employ performance with organizational performance to ensure that it will be, be able to achieve the goals of the organization wherein it links the organizational goals to its agency vision, mission, and mandate. And of course, the mandate is all linked to the um, um, Philippine Development Plan. All right, so every organization can see that set the targets na in line with their mandates or their, their functions. Their, and their vision, ano? Yes, mission mm-hmm. and objectives. Mm-hmm. So, dun yung individual performance, dapat may alignment sa yes. team, sa unit, sa office performance, at ito lahat naka-anchor sa kanilang vision. At nasabi mo kanina, Director Rudy, naka-anchor itong lahat na ito sa Philippine Development Plan. Or maybe for sa, kung naman, kung sa local government, sa yes. kanilang kinatawag natin na uh, e- business plan. Ah, okay. Right. And also, I believe nag like, evolve din kasi ito. Right now, we're using the strategic performance mm-hmm. management system, but in the past, iba yung ating system na ginagamit in managing performance. Alright, so I hope naliwanagan din yung ating mga kalanchi sa role ng Civil Service Commission on performance management. Pero syempre, we will discuss more details tungkol nga rito sa ating roles and all others about SPMS. After the break. After the break. So, wag po kayong alis mga kalanchi. We will be back in a short while. So, like and share. So we're back no, dito sa lunch chat sa CSC. So i-greet natin ang ating live viewers. Ryan Gregory Magaya. Yes, from HRPS o yan, syempre. Mm. R.B. Chris Vergabera Aguila. Meme De La Cruz. Marcelo Makasinag. Virgil Kayabiab. Liza Roventa. Robert Capundan. And Ed Sula. Ayan. All right. So earlier po we were discussing the SPMS and how it links individual performance to organizational performance. Our next question is, paano naman ba itong SPMS linked to employee incentives, recognition, or promotion, Sir Rudy? Well, alam mo naman sa ating strategic performance management, mm-hmm. there is a provision wherein it provides for the uses of the performance rating. Unang-una is about security of tenure. Mm-hmm. Pangalawa, yung performance-based awards and incentives. Mm-hmm. Pangatlo, promotions and other human resource actions. Mm-hmm. The third is training and scholarship grants. And, mm-hmm. and of course, the last but not the least, cuts all na ito, 
other performance-based mm -hmm. benefits. So, napakalaki ng gamit ng performance management sapagkat ito yung parang pinaka-gauge wherein which, kamukha ng sinabi mo, Director Rudy, na maibibigay ng ahensya yung akmang rewards and recognition, ano? Yes, indeed. At, uh, mga incentives, scholarship, training, learning and development, lahat yan. At yan din ang magsasabi kung hindi uh, maayos ang iyong performance, ano ba yung mga interventions na kailangan, ano? Indeed. Uh, actually, mm. mga HR practitioners nagsasabi na ang performance management daw ay the heart of the mm. HR systems because nakakalink ito sa other HR systems mm. like for example sa placement no mm -hmm. kasi may promotion diyan mm -hmm. then we have the rewards and recognition yes. sa mga outstanding performers may meron tayong mga binibigay also incentives and rewards for particularly for those incentives na binibigay ng BBM and also we provide for capacitation or yeah. capability building partly okay. for uh, for people who are included in succession planning or for those who have gaps okay. mayroon tayong mga capacity building yeah. so you mentioned about gaps no so if the csc motivates employee performance we also look at competency gaps right and provide the necessary hr interventions we also implement employee discipline if there are violations. Yes. At pa paano naman ito nakalink sa ating SPMS? Well, of course, kaya nga nire-require natin yung mga agencies mm -hmm. to come up with uh, their system mm -hmm. so that they would be able to rate the yeah. performance of their people. At sabi natin kanina, yung individual performance should be linked to the unit, division, yeah. or office organization performance. Mm -hmm. And so every semester or rating period they have to also um, accordingly rate mm -hmm. the performance and therefore uh, result of which is based also on how they implement their program to uh, on incentives and awards no tinatawag natin yung phrase because yes, yes. mayroong mga incentives and rewards na binibigay rin ang mga agencies aside from or over and above the incentives given by mm -hmm. the government through the TPM. At itong praise na to ay isang mekanismo na ka-institutionalized na sa lahat ng government agencies sa yes, pagkat ito ay mandato ng Civil Service Commission. So dito dadaan yung mga outstanding employees, yung magagaling ang performance para sila ay ma-qualify, tama, Director yes, Rudy, indeed. Isa sa mga incentives. Yeah. In, in fact, ang performance rating, at least BS mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. up, is a requirement for one to qualify for the one of the requirements mm -hmm. for one to qualify for the honor awards program that's right the yung presidential lingkod bayan award yes. dahil lang bayan award at csc pag-asa award okay so, kaya napaka-critical talaga na magkaroon tayo ng efficient and effective performance management kasi ang dami niyang paghuhugutan yun mm -hmm. yung mga basis or point of reference mm -hmm. sa rewards and recognition mm -hmm. sa mga pag may mga violations mm -hmm. tayo na mga nakikita so imagine mo na lamang kung anong performance management ang isang opisina sa gobyerno. Hindi ba? Eh, may mga goals yan, may targets yan, may mission yan, may vision yan. Pa, paano makakamtan lahat yon? Obviously, hindi. Hindi ba? Indeed. Uh, in fact, uh, you mentioned about discipline mm -hmm. because we encourage people to do their share in the achievement of the goals of the organization. For those non-performers, yes. we also discipline yes. through dropping from the dropping roles. Dropping from yes. the roles. Kung one rating period na poor, well, mm -hmm. of course, they will be uh, dropped from the from roles the or roles. two oh, oh. unsatisfactory ratings mm -hmm. for two continuous satisfactory ratings. So, wag natin iisipin na iniisip ng iba, may security of tenure ako kasi nasa gobyerno ako. So, katotohanan po kapag hindi mo nakuha yung pasadong performance rating, katulad ng sabi mo, Director Rudy, kung bagsak ka, pwede ka nang matanggal o Pero, ma hey, from the mm, rules. Hindi lang basta-basta naman sila ma-drop sa rules mm -hmm. eh, kasi mayroong mekanismo tayo or process wherein before they will be terminated, mayroon naman siyang pag-asa pang magbabago. May so there is a period, mm -hmm. may intervention tayong binibigay mm -hmm. prior to... Naka-embed uh, yes, yun uh, sa uh, ating... Of course, there is a warning for yeah, them to... Yeah. Uh, make up, otherwise yeah. they will be uh, dropped from the road. And yes, mga nagga, uh, dapat documented. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes, documented. Yes. That's yes. one of the requirements sa ating SPMS. Yes. 
that uh, in fact doon sa stage 2 ng ating performance management there is uh, monitoring and coaching yes yes in that stage yeah. alone doon na natin din mm -hmm. document yung mga mm -hmm. mga pagkukulang yung yes. mga mm -hmm. mga mm -hmm. ginawa nilang tama at least para when it comes to stage 3 walang question sa One review and evaluation so in yeah. other words tuloy-tuloy talaga yung pag-uusap di ba pag monitor ng performance pag -re review at uh, bago makarating yung rating period may interventions na ginagawa katulad ng nasabi mo yun nga ang coaching yes no? indeed yung kanina sa def technical definition natin mm -hmm. ng performance management a continuing process of yes. communication yes. between the manager and mm -hmm. the staff mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. right. for development yes diba? yeah ng, ng staff at ganun din ng opisina. opisina so meron dapat alignment kapareho ng nasabi natin so napaka comprehensive na ating discussion sa performance management no so ngayon nakita natin lalo kung gaano ito kahalaga at ga gaano ito kailangan sa career na isang government worker sa bawat ahensya po na ating pamahalaan Yes po, kaya naman we always emphasize na hindi tumitigil ang role ng Civil Service Commission sa pagbibigay lang ng examination. Correct. Isa lang yan sa napakaraming roles natin in HR. Napakalawak ng HR kaya I hope mas naiintindihan po natin ngayon o ng ating mga viewers kung ano nga ba ang ginagawa ng CSC. So we believe that honing excellent people will translate to excellent public service. Kapag magaling ang tao, sa gobyerno, through performance management, magaling ang public service. So that is why our core purpose is going lingkod bayani ang bawat kawani. Thank you very much again, Director Rudy N. Gaunado, yes. for this enlightening discussion. You really helped us po sa pag-intindi or pag-unawa sa mga sa CSC, pati na ang impact nito sa bawat kawani ng pamahalaan. So that wraps up our uh, series, no? At uh, maraming salamat kay Ms. Abigail Manalad Marinas, one of the winners of our online contest who suggested this topic. Huwag niyo pong kalimutang i-like at i-share ang aming episode at ang mga nakarang episodes para masagot ang ating frequently asked questions. All our videos are online www.facebook.com civil service gov ph www.youtube slash cscph media also, reminders lang po para po sa ating August 4 examinees. Huwag maliligaw on the day of the examination. Check your yes. room assignments at www.cse.gov.ph or call your CSE Regional or Field Office. Yes. Huwag pong maghintay until the, the last minute. minute to know all you need to, uh, para po dito sa examination. Yes. So Maghanda. Please, Maghanda na tayo at tumawa kaysa naman doon tayo maghanap ng mga information. Yes. Prepare, review, and read examination advisories sa aming website or FB page. Huwag mag-cram at huwag magpuyat, no? Yes. So salamat sa Examination Recruitment and Placement Office for the use of this room and to IRMO ITD and our janitorial staff for helping us with the setup. At syempre salamat sa ating lunch at yeah. yeah. So once again, po, my name is Mar. And I'm Lisa. And thank you for watching Lunch Chat with CSE Season 3. Season 3. Yeah. Please stay to watch our announcement. Bye. Like and share.